Good morning and welcome to Morning Prayers on Tuesday the 26th of May. It's Ifano. Our help is in the name of the eternal God, who, who is, is making, making the, the heavens, heavens and, and the earth. earth. Eternal Spirit, flow through our being and open our lips, that our mouths, mouths may, may proclaim, proclaim your, your praise. praise. Let us worship the God of love. Alleluia, Alleluia. Nate will now bring us the reading set in the lectionary for morning prayer today. The reading is from Luke 8, 1 to 15. Soon afterward, Jesus went about in person with the twelve through the towns and villages, announcing and telling the good news of God's kingdom. They were accompanied by various women who had been healed from evil spirits and diseases. Mary, who was called Magdalene, from whom seven demons had gone out. Joanna, the high wife of Chusa, Herod Jewed, and Susanna, and many others looked after the needs of Jesus and his companions out of their own pockets. A large crowd came together and people came to him from town after town. He spoke to them in parables. A sower went to sow his seed. As he was sowing, some fell by the road and was trodden on, and the birds of the air ate it up. Other seed fell on the stony ground, and when it came up, it, with it withered because it didn't have any moisture. Other seed fell in among thorns, and when the thorns grew up, they choked it. Other seed again fell into good soil and came up, and gave a hundredfold yield. As he said this, he called out, If you've got ears to hear, then hear. His disciples asked him, What this parable was about? You are being let in on the secrets of God's kingdom, he said. But to the rest it happens in parables, so that they may see, but not perceive, and hear, but not understand. This is the parable. The seed is the word of God. Those by the roadside are people who hear, but then the devil comes and takes it away the word from their hearts, so that what they won't believe it and be saved. Those in the stony grounds are those who hear the word and receive it with delight. But they don't have any root, and so they believe only for a time. And then when the time of testing comes, they draw back. The seed that falls in among thorns represents people who hear. But as they go on their way, they are choked by cares and riches and pleasures of life. And they don't bear proper ripening fruit. Today is a fresh day. It is a good day because you have made it. Therefore, it is full of possibilities and hope. Jesus, you are our source. Help, Help us, us to live the day with you in the centre. You call us together as your body. Help us, us to, to share, share the day, day well with others. Yours is a revolution of love. Help, Help us, us to, to share, share good, good news with the last, the lost, lost and the least. Amen. Amen. During each day of our week of prayer for Christian unity, we are sharing a reading, reflection and prayer as part of our daily pattern of worship. Today's theme is Enlightenment. Seeking and showing forth Christ's light. A sentence from Acts chapter 27, verse 20. When neither sun nor stars appeared for many days, and no small tempest raged, all hope of our being saved was at last abandoned. Today's reading is from Mark chapter 4, verses 35 to 41. As evening came, Jesus said to his disciples, Let's cross to the other side of the lake. So they took Jesus in the boat and started out, leaving the crowds behind, although other boats followed. But soon a fierce storm came up. High waves were breaking into the boat, and it began to fill with water. Jesus was sleeping at the back of the boat with his head on a cushion. The disciples woke him up, shouting, 
Teacher, don't you care that we're going to drown? When Jesus woke up, he rebuked the wind and said to the waves, Silence, be still. Suddenly the wind stopped and there was a great calm. Then he asked them, Why are you afraid? Do you still have no faith? The disciples were absolutely terrified. Who is this man? They asked each other. Even the wind and the waves obey him. Our reflection on this passage. Christ is our light and our guide. Without the light and guidance of Christ, we become disorientated. When Christians lose sight of Christ, they grow fearful and divided from one another. Moreover, many people of goodwill outside the church are unable to see the light of Christ because in our Christian division, we reflect Christ's light less clearly or at times block it out completely. As we seek the light of Christ, we are drawn closer to one another and so mirror this light more clearly, becoming truly a sign of Christ, the light of the world. Let us pray. God, your word is a light to our steps, and without you we are lost and disorientated. Enlighten us so that through your word we may walk your path. May our churches crave your guiding, consoling and transforming presence. Give us the honesty we need to recognise when we make it difficult for others to see your light and the grace we need to share your light with others. We ask this in the name of your Son, who calls us to be light to the world. Amen. May the Creator bless us and keep us. May the beloved companion face us and have mercy upon us. May the eternal spirit's countenance be turned to us and give us peace. May the three in one bless us. Kia noho te wairua o te rongarawa ki a tātou. Whakamoe me titia a ihoa. Thanks for joining us this morning. We hope you have a great day.